just close the blinds, it's a bit of a, a weird light at the moment. Well, that looks a bit even worse. Just bring it up a bit. It's a bit weird the way the light's coming in, but anyway, this is a, the unboxing of a Total Freeze 55 litre 12 volt, 24 volt compressor fridge freezer. Total Freeze by Total Cool. So, here we go. Originally, that sent me one there a few days ago. Turns up in two days. Um, ordered off off Amazon, Black Friday deal. Sent me a 45 total cool instead of um, other 55. Well, I'm a bit concerned about the box. Looks exactly the same size. Except the total cool 45 um, is about 120 mil shorter in the length than 120 mil shorter in the height. Roughly. Now this box looks the same size, so unless there's less poly polystyrene on the base of it and on the top of it. I might be disappointed. <laughs> oh, top ain't done yet. Well packed, I've got to say it's well packed. From having the other one that they delivered the other day, um, there's another box inside this big box. Uh, a bit of a pain to, to get it out, but um, well, very, very well packed, um, I must say. So, the only way we can get this out of here is boy, let's get pick these things up because you trip over these and you you end up with a bad kneecap. Like I've got. Put these to one side because we ain't gonna need them again. Rubbish. And I think the easiest way to get it out of the box is to tip it over and uh, and give it a pull. Be a bit of a tip to start with, they are starting to slide out of the box now. Uh, oh, in a bad way to be honest. So, I don't want to rip the box. I'll just gently bring it out. Total cool, total freeze, portable 12 volt, 24 volt mains power system. So it's set on the top. Here we go. I'm sick to death of using my domestic fridge which came in the motorhome. Um, only works up to ambient temperature of 30 degrees. And half the time it don't even do that. So, uh, I've got that many fans on the one in the motorhome. It's unbelievable that hopefully we can put this under the table. And uh, we'll be able to keep frozen food. Frozen. Let's hope anyway. So there we are. Oh, it's even got the print of Total Freeze, Total Kill inside the box. Look. Oh, strange, that's unusual. What a waste of ink. Uh, put that to one side. So right there. Uh, the box looks the same size as the one I had before. I'd like to send that one back because that was the wrong size. Uh, cooler. It just looks a bit, when you look at that one, the way it's packed. Um, I don't know if you can see that or whether it's reflecting back at the camera too much. Total cool, portable 55 litre, 12 volt, 24 volt AC compressor, fridge freezer. The compressor, that's
that's the bit you need to keep your food uh, cold and your fridge working correctly. I think if I turn you around to the side you might see it a bit better. Oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's got on the box. Um, 55 litre portable compressor fridge freezer, 12 volt mains power AC input, cooling or freezing to t minus 20 degrees. Cooling or freezing to minus 20 degrees. Ultra energy efficient, low current draw, lightweight and portable, 14 kilograms, strong and durable, whisper quiet, quiet noise levels. All leads included. Two year warranty. Scan me for different languages. It's that's instructions I would imagine. Uh, and then it's got a Bluetooth enabled. There's an app you can download from Google Play or the App Store. Um, and you can power on or off the fridge by that. Adjust the temperature and change the mode. So let's have a look. It looks the same size as the one I sent back because they sent the wrong size. I paid for 55 litre, they sent me a 45 litre, so that's the thing to watch. Quite a few quick difference in the, in the price. Um, ah, straight away I can see that the, the actual packaging is not so thick as it was on the, on the, other, on the other fridge, on the 45 litre one. So obviously, uh, where it's coming. Oh, and then, here we go. Ah. Ah. I don't see the very much difference in this, to be honest. So, oh, look at that storage. Storage for cups on the top of the fridge. Uh, it does look a bit poor, to be honest. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm back in there for a minute. Just so you can tell, really well packed, really well packed. I think it cost as much to make the boxes for this thing as it does to make the fridge, the fridge itself. <laughs> okay, so there we are. Uh, let's just go around the box and read what it says on the, well, that's, that's the fridge itself. Uh, Oh dear me, <coughs> sorry about that. So, it doesn't seem much different to me to the other one. Oh yes, definitely inside this section here. It's really, really deep, very deep. Um, look at that, look at that. Uh, yeah, no. Look at that inside there. As I say in French, perfectement, so magnifique. It, it is a real, real good piece of kit as long as it does the temperatures it says it does. And it'll be fine. Uh, I think I might have to shut these curtains and push the lights on. Get a better picture that way. <coughs> there you are. Not too sure whether that's any better, but let's have a look. Yeah. Strange. It might be a bit better if we uh, have a little bit of light coming in. Okay, uh, so basket inside. I mean, you can get there's even there's even two holes in the very bottom of this, just inside here, to store um, your uh, two-liter bottles of pop. 
and then even above the two litre one the top, there's going to be loads of room to, uh, to st put stuff on top if you need to. Uh, inside the uh, packaging we have in this box one transformer which um, obviously plugs into the other side the back end of the unit um, let's turn this round to the side and we'll plug this into I'll show you on the camera it actually plugs in there into the very bottom I'm not sure whether you can see but there it is DC 12 volt or 24 volt that's your mains plug. Plugs into there. Uh, then what you've got is in this box obviously the, the lead that goes with with this to plug into the mains, which we're going to do in a minute. Then we've got two pin plug, which is like for shaver sockets. Um, and that sort of thing, maybe that's a German fitting as well, I don't know uh, but definitely fits a shaver plug that, and that also plugs into into this, this transformer like so but we're going to use the English English uh, Alexa cancel <laughs> So we'll, un we'll unwrap this, we'll, we'll plug this in while we're at it at the moment and then I'll do a, a bit of a review on how long it takes to get to um, minus 20. Okay, so we'll unwrap that. I like to say these bits of cord so we always wrap it back round the cable, it's, it's come off. Okay, we'll plug this in the wall while we, while we do this bit of a review. Be cooling down. Uh, okay, I'll just plug this in over here. Uh, maybe over there. Better. Just one minute. Okay. So we plug in there, we plug in now. Bring this further off so you can see a bit better. Okay. Nice, nice good sturdy angles on it, look at that. Decent size fridge. This is it. If this works as uh, as it should, it'd be brilliant. Anyway, that's plugged in now. That's plugged in. So um, we'll just get this box that we've got here with all of it in. Show you again. We've just looked at that. That's the two pin plug. Look. Uh, we've got the same connection for the fridge, but with the 12 volt for the cigarette lighter. Um, two year super cool uh, warranty bark out to, to scan for your warranty to start this is a Christmas present so it will be scanned for Christmas Not, um, energy rating Ooh, looking at this it says it's energy efficient but it's got an F on the energy rating sticker which uh, I wouldn't have thought energy writing is very good at F but uh, if anybody uh, knows any different tell me in the comments uh, 
super cool, super cool, total cool, total freeze, 35, 45 and 55 litre user guide. Uh, scanned to for different languages and that's the three different sizes which they do 35, 45 and 55. Originally I was sent this one by mistake I hope um, it was bought on the Black Friday sale good price 228 but for this one not for that one I believe that was 176 they've all gone back up in price now I believe this one's about 285 pounds now but in the Black Friday it was 228 um, but you know decent instructions inside not much telling you about the app um, it's just telling you about you know what you can put in there and the uh, the actual loads and stuff that uh, you can put up with okay um, basket inside which I showed you freezer which is the deep section obviously the compressor is under this end here the compressor there so that pocket there is, is only down to there that section is really the fridge and this section down to the bottom is the freezer but you can take out the partition between the two um, so it sort of comes up steps over the top um, so that the small shallow section is the fridge the instructions are pretty good to be honest cleaning, storage, defrosting, warranty maintenance troubleshooting guide you know everything seems to be there um, external size of this box that's interesting to know 690 from here to here that's the length of it 345 um, 345 that's going to be the uh, all these. 690 by 345 by 380 that's the T35 T45 is the same size in length and the T55 um, so the on the actual uh, width 690 is the height so they're, they're all actually the same height 690 524 524 by 345 so 345's across this way 690's on the height and 524 is on the uh, on the width internal size 492 261 by 434 yeah. so it's, it's it's quite a decent size uh, the, the two smaller ones take a 45 watts power consumption and this one's 55 watt power consumption so it's not much more uh, consumption for another 5 litres really well, that's another 5 watts for another 5 litres um, which is a bit, uh, a bit strange but anyway that's that's what it says minus 20 to plus 20 um, and it's 55 litres, 15 amp uh, fuse um, input for 12, 24 volts or 240 and that switches automatically and the weight of this is 17 kg but, uh, okay so let's um, 
snugly back in the box and without further ado we will switch the thing on. Hopefully. Just check. <coughs> Not too clever. Let's move us down a touch. Much better now, much better. Okay, so listen for the bang. Power on. What? 15 degrees. I don't know whether you can see the it's on maximum power obviously there's a bluetooth symbol that's up there uh, I can just hear the fan kicking in at the back 14.4 that's the voltage 14.4 14.3 volts currently it's 15 degrees inside the fridge and some Bluetooth symbol there which we haven't sorted out yet um, I have got the Total Cool app <coughs> on this phone already um, I don't know whether you can hear the uh, the fan I'll just turn off my phone while I'm here Can you hear the fan? That's the... Uh... That's, that's the compressor. And I believe the fan up to the fridge that you can hear. Morning. Just bringing the app, get the app up on the phone. Mm. Temperature's at 15 degrees, so the up and down, minus two. Let me see. So they're taking the temperature up to. Down to minus two. Minus one. I'll go press that way. Minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now, normally minus seventeen is enough. That's what my fridge is on at home. Minus seventeen. So, 
at the moment it's plus 15 so we need to see how long it actually takes to go down to <coughs> the more 17 sorry about that um, the app on the phone is somewhere here somewhere total freeze there's the app total freeze not read any instructions so I don't know what we're doing here now uh, it's got come straight up with search so I'll click search and ah app oh look press settings button on the fridge to control on the control panel Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Straight away it's, it's done. So easy to set up the app. It's telling me what degrees it is inside the the fridge there. Uh, there's eco mode, there's lock. There's unpair if you need to unpair it. Um, there's a slide control here that says 20 degrees plus and 20 degrees minus is that end we've asked it to be 17 degrees so it's slightly up from off the bottom up there push it back down that way uh, it's saying setting temperature is 17 degrees 14.4 volts are being used oh what can i say absolutely marvelous uh, let's just have a play press the power button power's off fan stopped press the power button again it's all back up again everything's working um, marvellous what can I say it's saying the battery indicator over here 100% that's because it's plugged into the mains um, I ain't actually got any idea what the settings button does at the top here that's because it don't do anything <laughs> oh it does it does um, temperature maximum 20 degrees minimum to minus 20 language English rename total TF extreme uh, that's the name of the freezer about www.totalcool.co.uk that's their website contact information there's a tele contact information there's the telephone number version 1.04 advanced settings Ooh. advanced settings advanced settings are only for factory maintenance changes may cause device to malfunction so what we do with that is we cancel and then we'll go back but I mean I think I might change the name yeah, I think I'll change the name. What shall I call it? <coughs> Let's call it um, Let's call it Contiki Freezer. Take your freezer, okay, and then we just change the name like that, and then we press OK. Job done. No, oh, no, I take job done. Take worked. Let me just see what's behind that. Okay. Oh yeah, can take your freezer. So it, it, it's done. It can take your freezer. You can just see it there. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick the camera up and give you a look, a good look inside it. I'm just going to fetch a two litre bottle of uh, pop so we can show you everything.
Okay, right, so this is um, the sort of size of the bottle. Woohoo! Two litre, there you are. Two litre Schweppes lemonade, ideal for shandies at Christmas. Now, I'm just going to take the the basket out because I don't really think we need the, the basket here. We've got bottles of pop in there, but in the bottom there's a proper recess. I'm going to pick the camera up and I'm going to show you this this recess that's in the bottom there. Um, Only got so much length on the cable, but uh, this just doesn't bring the power. That. Um, here we go. So, total freeze 55. Not much bigger, really, uh, in the size uh, of the unit than the uh, the previous model that they sent by mistake, a 45 litre. Um, I believe probably there's less insulation in the bottom looking at this than what there was in the 45 but anyway there's the bottle 2 litre bottle of pop in there and it's still a good well there's my hand so you're looking at from fingertip to the top a good 5 or 6 inches there above my hand um, I mean, it's quite, quite a, um, this is the I thought this came out but I'm obviously bloody less cold um, this is cool pretty cool in this side here um, cool but this side you touch this side here uh, and it is actually freezing up really really well <laughs> marvellous to be honest marvellous those side cheeks are steel or aluminium, um, but uh, it's quite quite good. Uh, and a good solid fixing on the on the ball chain. Look, if you see close to where they've done it the, there, the light. There's a light inside there. Um, I believe if the bottles are so tall, these two things would take the top as well, so you get bigger bottles in there. I mean, it, it, I can't say it's, it's marvellous. The quality, and it? I think it's, I think it's marvellous. I mean, it's better to close. This video, even though it's gone on and off, uh, it's not been off for that long, and it's at minus 11 already. Um, God, God, to be honest, brilliant. Can't fault it. Can't fault it. Please just punch. Wow. Super cool. You've got a good product here. Only time will tell how long it's going to last. <coughs> this is a review from Steve and Sue Swift Kentucky on tour. Please like and subscribe. We ain't got many subscribers, we're just starting off. I don't edit my videos. What you see is what I've done. And if I make a mess of it, you see it. <laughs> I will get better. But um, I think a lot of people out there with motorhomes would really respect me for putting this there on their uh, in their in their way in their view um, because our fridges, pneumatic, they are useless. Can't trust them. And when you've lost your food a couple of times like I have, you would be a bit upset and looking for a better fridge. My tip to you Dometic is put a compressor on there 
and the compressor needs to be set so that it just kicks in when the temperature drops down. Use the normal condensation fridge until the pressure drops, until the temperature drops. As soon as that temperature's dropped, get the compressor to kick in and sort us out so we don't lose any more food. I would like to review a domestic product, but I don't think um, I've been doing YouTube long enough. But if they can, uh, so provide me with a product for review, I certainly will review it and give an honest review. But so far, this beats the Brunner fridge freezer that I've got hands down because there's a compressor on this and there's not one on the Brunner. Um, Probably not so much room in there, but pretty close, pretty close. Um, I just wanted to see it gets down to minus 17. Well, it says they get down to minus 20. <coughs> I mean, we've got the sun shining through the window on the box here now. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's marvellous. It's absolutely marvellous. I'm going to be quiet now while I uh, wait for the temperature to drop. Oh, I just looked at the app. Let's take it down to 20. On the app. I'll just turn it down to 20. You see the app? The arrows underneath there. Click the arrows. It's at minus 14 at the moment. When I press on that, tells you there 16 degrees so let's take it down to 20 so that there's no blue line left it's all gone minus 20 degrees let's just see how long it takes to get to that you can't get nowhere you're not, not expected to get nowhere but minus 17 is what the domestic fridge in the house is, has been set out for years and uh, it's been good enough but minus 15 god I'm over the moon over the moon There's your box with the side of it. Marvellous, absolutely marvellous.
That's it, it's it 20 degrees and that's the end of the uh, the video. Um, hopefully you like and subscribe please. Um, like I say, I'm apprenticed to this so I've got a few videos on there. Nothing's ever really edited much at the moment because I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> Just time, I ain't got the time. 
But there you are, total cool, total freeze 55. Thanks. Just for the record. about a bit um, just for the record this is me I am Steve Hughes of the Swift Kentucky Sue and Steve Swift Kentucky on tour and I hope you've liked watching my video please search out the subscribe button and like and subscribe any comments if you want to know any questions about it just put it in the comments and i will resp respond to that okay well, thanks for you watching and uh, all the best and get yourself one of these because they are the business they are honestly okay see you soon thanks for thanks for watching thank you bye